Welcome back to SAPify Academy. In today's video, we're talking about something every SAP MM consultant or end user will face. Errors. No matter how good your system configuration is, mistakes happen. Wrong material codes, mismatched quantities, or missing postings can easily bring a procurement cycle to a halt. And here's the truth. Knowing how to spot and fix these errors quickly is what separates a beginner from a real SAP professional. In this complete guide, we'll break down the most common SAP MM errors. From master data and purchase orders to goods receipts, invoice verification, FI integration, and inventory management. For each error, I'll show you why it happens and what you can do to fix it. If you've ever been stuck with a blocked invoice, a negative stock balance, or a GR slash IR mismatch, this video is for you. And if you're preparing for interviews, understanding these issues will give you a huge edge because recruiters love to ask real-world problem-solving questions. So let's dive in and start with the first area where most mistakes occur. Master Data Part 1 Master Data Errors One of the most common sources of problems in SAP MM is incorrect master data. If your material or vendor master records are wrong, every downstream process, POGR invoice, will be impacted. Let's look at typical material master errors. Wrong valuation class. Leads to postings hitting the wrong GL accounts. Incorrect unit of measure. Quantity mismatches between PO, GR, and invoice. Missing purchasing view. Material cannot be used in procurement. On the vendor side, common errors include wrong payment terms. Incorrect due dates for vendor invoices. Tax code mistakes. Incorrect VAT calculation or posting rejections. Duplicate vendor records, confusion, and duplicate invoices. How do you fix these? The best approach is prevention. Always review required fields when creating master data. Use SAP consistency checks and mandatory field controls. Run reports like MKVZ, vendor list, or MM60, material list, to identify inconsistencies. Remember, bad master data equals bad business. Clean and accurate master records are the foundation of every MM process. Part two, purchase order errors. After master data, the next big source of mistakes in SAP MM is the purchase order, PO. Since the PO drives the entire procurement cycle, even a small error here can cause serious downstream problems. Here are the most common PO errors. Incorrect account assignment category. If you choose the wrong account assignment, like cost center versus asset, the system may reject the invoice later. Wrong purchasing organization or company code leads to authorization issues or posting failures because the PO doesn't match the correct organizational data. Invalid pricing conditions. Missing or incorrect condition types, like PB00 for price or freight slash tax conditions, can cause mismatches during invoice verification. Incorrect delivery dates. Unrealistic delivery timelines often result in overdue or blocked POS. How to fix these issues? Always double-check PO data against the purchase requisition. Use the PO release strategy so that another person reviews and approves the PO before it's used. Train end users to recognize mandatory fields and pricing conditions. Remember, a bad PO equals a broken process. Fixing it early prevents headaches later in GR and invoice verification. Part 3. Goods Receipt MIGO Errors Another common area for mistakes in SAP MM is during the goods receipt 
GR process, usually performed in transaction MIGO. Since GR updates stock and clears part of the procurement cycle, errors here can cause both logistics and accounting issues. Here are the most frequent problems. Wrong storage location. Materials posted to the wrong location can cause stock discrepancies and make items appear missing. Quantity mismatches. If the received quantity doesn't match the PO, SAP blocks the invoice later. Incorrect movement type. Choosing the wrong movement type, e.g. 101 versus 103, post the goods incorrectly and may impact financial postings. Unposted GR. Sometimes the goods arrive but the GR isn't posted, which blocks the invoice verification step in MIRO. How to fix these? Always check PO details before posting GR. Train warehouse staff on correct movement types. Use SAP tolerance limits to allow small differences without blocking. Run reports like MB5T or MB52 to reconcile stock balances regularly. A clean GR process is the key to keeping stock accurate and ensuring smooth invoice verification later. Part 4. Invoice Verification, MIRO, Errors The invoice verification step, MIRO, is where many errors surface because it's the checkpoint that ties POGR and the vendor invoice together. If something doesn't match, SAP will block the invoice or throw an error. Here are the most common issues. Price differences. The invoice price doesn't match the PO price. This often happens if the vendor changes prices without updating the PO. Quantity differences. The invoice reflects a different quantity than what was posted in the goods receipt. Missing GR. If the invoice arrives before the goods receipt is posted, SAP cannot perform the three-way match and blocks the invoice. Duplicate invoices. Vendors sometimes resend the same invoice. SAP detects duplicates based on invoice reference number, but only if master data is clean. How to fix them. Use tolerance keys to allow small differences. Always ensure GR is posted before MIRO. Regularly monitor blocked invoices using MRBR. Cancel incorrect invoices with MR8M and repost correctly. By mastering these errors, consultants keep the procure-to-pay cycle smooth and avoid payment delays. Part 5. Integration Errors MM-FI one of the trickiest areas where SAP MM errors appear is an in integration with financial accounting, FI. Since every invoice posted in MM creates an FI document, even small mistakes can cause serious financial issues. Here are the most common integration errors. GR slash IR account not cleared. If the GR and invoice quantities don't match, the GR slash IR account remains open, leaving balances that confuse finance teams. Wrong GL account assignment. Incorrect valuation class or account assignment category can cause postings to hit the wrong expense or asset account. Tax code. Mismatches. If tax codes in the PO or invoice are incorrect, the FI posting may fail or post incorrect tax amounts. Currency issues. Different currencies between PO, GR, and invoice can create exchange rate variances in FI. How to fix these issues? Regularly reconcile GR slash IR with reports. Ensure valuation classes and account determination are configured correctly. Validate tax codes during master data and PO creation. Train consultants to review FI postings after MIRO using MIR4. By mastering FI integration, you don't just fix MM errors. You become the consultant who bridges logistics and finance. Part 6. Inventory Management Errors 
Another area where SAP MM users frequently run into trouble is inventory management. Since inventory is updated with every goods movement, errors here can quickly lead to stock imbalances and operational delays. The most common issues include negative stock balances. This happens when stock is issued before the GR is posted. It confuses warehouse reporting and often requires manual adjustments. Wrong batch or serial numbers. If incorrect data is entered during GR, the system can't track materials properly, leading to errors in production or delivery. Posting to wrong stock type. Users sometimes post to blocked or quality inspection instead of unrestricted, which makes materials unavailable for use. Unmatched physical versus system stock. Poor cycle counting or missed postings lead to discrepancies between actual warehouse stock and SAP records. How to fix these? Use cycle counting, MI01 slash MI04, to reconcile physical and system stock. Train staff on movement types and stock categories. Monitor negative stock reports and clear them promptly. Always validate batch slash serial numbers during goods movement. A clean inventory equals accurate reporting, smooth production, and satisfied auditors. Part 7. Best Practices and Conclusion so, we've covered the most common SAP MM errors, from master data and purchase orders to goods receipts, invoice verification, FI integration, and inventory management. These are the mistakes that happen every single day in real projects, and knowing how to prevent and fix them makes you a stronger SAP professional. Here are some best practices to keep in mind. Validate master data. Clean material and vendor masters prevent 70% of downstream issues. Use PO release strategies. Having approvals before POS are sent avoids costly mistakes later. Reconcile GR slash IR regularly. This keeps FI and MM aligned and avoids audit findings. Train end users. Many errors happen simply because users don't understand movement types or invoice checks. Leverage SAP reports. Use tools like MB52, MRBR, and MIR5 to monitor errors and blocked items. At the end of the day, errors are inevitable. But if you know how to fix them quickly and put controls in place to prevent them, you'll stand out as the consultant who keeps projects running smoothly. Don't forget... In the description, you'll find the link to my SAP Career Guide, which includes templates, interview questions, and checklists to boost your SAP journey. If this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you in the next one here at SAP Academy.